Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Ann Lewis, fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. Another victim of the so-called zip-chip collars was reported today in a suburb of old Detroit. Jimmy Collins, age 12, was found unconscious in his bedroom by his parents. It appeared that his mind had been totally burnt out from wearing a zip-chip collar. His parents said they bought the collar three weeks ago to help Jimmy catch up with his schoolwork. No one had informed them of the danger these collars present to those who wear them. The zip chip collar is being produced and distributed illegally in the city. Thus far, the police have been unable to trace their source nor to discourage people from purchasing them. The collar reportedly speeds up the synapses of the brain, allowing the mind to function as efficiently as a computer. Despite the dangers involved, this makes the collar attractive to many business people and school students who feel they need this competitive edge. Stay hey dudes, ever seen one of these? With these, you can ace the finals and still have time to party. Oh, I gotta have one. It's my only hope for passing. A key component of the collar is a bio-microchip manufactured by Omni Consumer Products, or OCP. As you can see from this taped interview, the president of OCP denies having any official connection with the collars. Sir, isn't it true that these so-called zip chips are manufactured by OCP Industries? No comment. And isn't it true that OCP refuses to stop producing these microchips because to do so would cut into their revenues in aerospace and other profitable divisions? No comment. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Irrefutable proof that the OCP puts profits over people. What's going on? I thought the police were going to handle this matter. We're working on it, sir. Well, work harder. Our microchips. They have a lot of legitimate uses, but this unauthorized use is threatening OCP's reputation as a benevolent corporation. As a what? I mean, we've received a tip, sir. We're going to be moving against them tonight. You just better stop them, because if you don't, OCP will. Team number three, what's the status? How about it, Murphy? Do you see anything? No sign of any unauthorized vessel that could be the bio-microchip thieves. Negative, Sergeant Reed. Wait. Aerial craft rapidly approaching at Mach 5 speed. Mach 5? I don't see anything. That's ah, probably just a smudge on his visor. Whoa! Look out! Oh, look! A welcoming committee. This should be fun. All units, return fire! <laughs> Do your worst, Scars Fuzz. What's that thing made of? Now it's my turn. a little low today. We really took a beating down at the dock. Many of your fellow officers are still in the hospital recuperating. Uh, sir, what's the word on RoboCop? Is he... We don't know yet, son. 
Dr. Tyler is still trying to determine if he's salvageable. The chairman of OCP is here to tell us about a new OCP undertaking designed to assist us against this new threat in Robocop's absence. <clears throat> Thank you, Sergeant Reed. Gentlemen, as you know, those bio-microchip thieves represent a great menace to society. Their insidious perversion of OCP's bio-microchips is destroying the minds of thousands of innocent victims every day. And with their new super-powered aircraft, they far outgun our current police forces. But this is a battle we cannot afford to lose, and we won't lose. Because starting today, the Detroit police will have their own ultra weapons. Ultra weapon number one, Ace Jackson, former Green Beret, the world's greatest munitions expert. Ultra weapon number two, Wheels Wilson, straight from the Motor City Speedway, and as you can see, is also very proficient with a bazooka. Pretty impressive. And finally, ultra weapon number three, someone who should be an incredible asset in this particular case. Third Man Barnes. He's the leader of our team, with several thousand hours of combat flight experience. Each man and his machine is equipped with complete surface armor. Mark my words, this is an assault team that will always get their man. Welcome, gentlemen, your new allies, the Ultra Police. God damn! Hey, at least they're real men. They're not just machines. What is it? What's wrong with him? I don't know. I replaced his damaged arm and circuitry, but he's still not reviving. It's almost like he's in a coma. I bet you don't think I'm a very nice person. I think you're scum. <laughs> Murphy, what is it? What is going on here? Officer Lewis, I, uh, I have recovered. Uh, thank you for your concern. Murphy, <laughs> you're all right. Yes, but you seem to be in need of a good crisis therapy ward. <laughs> I think he's back to normal. No, known fugitives are at large. They must be brought to justice immediately. Not till I've run some more tests. No time for tests. Murphy, wait up! What's the rush? Robocop, wait! If you're determined to get back to active duty, at least let me help you find those criminals. How can you help? This way. I was hoping to run a few more tests, give it to you in a month or so. But this crisis can't wait. So I present the Robocopter. It's beautiful. Fight fire with nuclear energy, I always say. It does appear to be a formidable craft. Formidable? Why, this is equipped with the most state-of-the-art equipment imaginable. On your left are the controls for the infrared scanners. Next to them... Your details are unnecessary, Dr. Tyler. I will obtain all the information I need by interfacing directly with the copter's on-deck computer. I understand now. Yes, this aircraft will suit my purpose well. Now, if you will stand back, there are criminals who must be apprehended. Definitely a superior craft. Okay, Murphy, it's just you and me now. So spill it. What's with you? I am in pursuit of some dangerous criminals. Come on, Murphy. You know what I mean. You seem to be obsessed with capturing these guys. They are fugitives from justice, according to my prime directive. Murphy, I'm your partner. I know you better than that. Does it have something to do with your nightmare in Tyler's lab? When I was hanging onto the supercraft, I saw the face of the criminal. It was Clarence Boddicker. Boddicker? The man who shot you when you were still... Human. That's right, Lewis. It was our first case together. We tracked them to their warehouse hideout. I got the drop on two of them. 
But the others were waiting. They had already overcome you. I was outmaneuvered and outgunned. The next thing I saw was Tyro. My limbs had been severed. My previous life was over. Forever. No wonder you had a nightmare. Murphy, are you turning this into a personal vendetta? Boddicker is once more terrorizing the innocent. He must be brought to justice. We'll get him, Murphy, and then let the courts administer the punishment he deserves. Right? Be alert, you two. These crooks think like the OCP. Time is money. So I bet they'll be back sooner rather than later. Right. Hey, I hope it's sooner. I can't wait to show the old man that we can out-police RoboCop. <laughs> now don't get too cocky, Wheels. We're gonna do this by the numbers. Ah, you worry too much. There it is. Hold your positions. I'm on my way. Copy, Birdman leader. Copy that, but no dice. <laughs> oh, this sucker's moving too fast. Wilson, hold off till I get there. That's an order. Wilson! <laughs> Come to me, you little beauties. <laughs> Time to show this nap that he's up again. Wilson! <laughs> Thanks, Birdman. No problem. Next time, obey orders. Ace, see if you can knock them down before they're gone. I'm ahead of you. Looks like the Nat has a big brother. Let's get out of here. Nah, this is too much fun. Eat Sidewinder, tough guy. <laughs> too easy. We're invincible. Invincible! OK, Flyboy, time for you to take some of your own medicine. <laughs> Started to get annoyed! We'd find you here. I want to thank you for saving my life. I was just doing my duty. Yeah, maybe so, but I thought the three of us could fill your shoes. Boy, was I wrong. 
Listen, if there's anything we can ever do for you... You can help me find Bodiger. They'd gotten my chopper repaired in time for this. These little beauties are better than gold. It's a raid! <laughs> Scratch one rotten assembly line. Over there, it's Boddicker! What is this? Oh, that cavalry's arrived! think I'm a very nice person. Fun's over. Fun's over. Fun's over. No! Please! Fun's over. Murphy, don't! Murphy, you are a cop. No matter what he's done to you, don't let him make you a murderer. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. 
Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Oh, Murphy, I'm so proud of you. I, I was so afraid that it... Officer Lewis, I am programmed to enforce the law by legal means. I was perfectly in control the entire time. Murphy? <laughs>